hello everyone and thank you very much for watching it is always a great pleasure to share with you our great ancient and African understanding of the universe that has been forged and misinterpreted by Europeans and many others. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Masoki Mamasoki. I am the son of the holy cave, the holy grotto, the pierced rock, the rocky mountain, the mountain of gods, called Ngok Lituba in Cameroon. Cameroon is a Western African country that share borders with Nigeria on its western side. I am also the great grandson and heir to the great patriarch, the great guardian of tradition, the one who has overcome death in the name of Bombok Jami. Before I can carry on, I would like to remind you that you can watch all my video by subscribing to my YouTube channel Masoki Mamasoki and once you subscribe you have video in my ancestral Basa language French and English language and for those of you who are interested in politics and global issue you can subscribe to my blog www.masoki.wordpress.com Today I would like to share knowledge with you on what is the creation of man by God in the sixth day. On what is the creation of man by God in the sixth day? Then, I will also explain to you what really is Lucifer, what really is Lucifer, and what really represents the number 666 that white people have called the devil number. I recommend you to watch my previous video in English language titled Gogli Tuba, the God of the World. Gogli Tuba, the God of the World. So you can go on my YouTube channel and this title has two parts, part one and part two. It has been scientifically proven that Africa is the birth is the birthplace. It is the origin origin of mankind. 
that humanity started in Africa. So all our ancestors are black and African. Whatever color you call yourself, whatever color you attribute yourself, whether you call yourself yellow, white, red, blue, all our ancestors are black and African. This is a scientific fact. And not really religious mambo jambo. In the Abrahamic religion, when I talk about Abrahamic religion, I am talking about Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. They are all called Abrahamic religion because Abraham is supposed to be the ancestors. However, Abraham has never existed. Abraham is not a historical character. Even the Bible says so. If you read the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 20 to 24, it says that all those people are allegory. Allegory. So the Abrahamic religion are just the forgery and misinterpretation of African, Basa, and Gorlutuba spirituality. And in, my la and in my previous video in English language, I remember telling you that even the word Bible itself is an African word, a Basa word, a Gorlutuba word. In the book of Genesis, in the Bible. It says that God said, let us create man in our own image and likeness. Let us create man in our own image and likeness. So, we have been created in the image and likeness of God. And we also know that the first people on earth are black people and Africans. So, when God said, let us create man in our own image, the man he created was black. And this black man a woman was created in the image and likeness of God. So God can only be black. God can only be African and God can only be a woman. God can only be black. God can only be African and God can only be a woman. In my previous video, I told you that Whatever your religion, whether you are Christian, Muslim, Jew, Hindu, Hinduist, Krishna, Taoist, uh, Tao, 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 Taoism, whatever your religion, the God you venerate, the God you worship, is the black woman, is a rocky mountain, is a pierced rock, is a rock, is a meteorite in West Africa. So God created man 
in his own image and likeness. And the first man God created is black. God can only be black. African and a woman. And they tell you that God created man in the sixth day. God created man in the sixth day. What does number six represent? Now let's go into chemistry. Chemistry. Because we know that the first man created was black. He was African. Number six represent the atomic number of carbon. Carbon is one of the chemical elements that constitute our earth, our planet. And carbon means black. It means black, charcoal, coal. Carbon. That's why they tell you in the Bible that in the sixth day, God created man. This number six only represents the atomic number of carbon. That's why in Mabasa and Gorlituba language, number six is Samal or Bisamal. Samal. So for you to understand this, we have to I have to quickly brief you on, on what I said in my previous video. I said that people, the Basa people who left the Holy Grotto, the Rocky Mountain, the Pierce Rock, in Gorlituba, in West Africa, they are the one who migrated and established the Egyptian and Basa civilization. And that the word Basa is composed of, of two words, Ba and Sa. So Basa means the people of Sa or the Sa people. The people of Sa or the Sa people. Because Sa is also God. It's also a black woman. It's also the Rocky Mountain. Because Bas, uh, I told that the Basa people or most of the black people left Egypt 525 BC before Christ. Okay, I use the term before Christ just for chronological reference because Christ itself never existed. Christ is a forgery, is a forgery and misinterpretation of Basa spirituality and mythology. So the Basa people left, most of the Basa people, most of the black people left, left Egypt in, in 525 BC when the Persians and the, and the king, and, and the king called Cambys attacked Egypt. So even today in Egypt, in present, in present day Egypt, in the north, in the north of Egypt, in the north of Egypt, you have a city called Sa El Egar. But originally, in the time of the Basa people, this city was called Sa or Sao. That's why you have a country in Africa called Guinea Bissau. Or when the Basa people left Egypt 525 BC, and when the Arab came. They added El Egar in the name of the city Sa, and the city Sa becomes Sa El Egar. So Sa is also God, he also that black woman, he also that rocky mountain, God. That's what we call number six Samal or Bisamal. And Samal is composed of two words, Sa and Mal. Sa and Mal. Sa, which is that God, with that rocky mountain, with the rock, with the black woman, Amal, with the verb. 
which is the which is the verb terminate, finish, end. So samal means sa has ended or has finished. Because samal means sa has ended the, his creation in six days. Because number six, number six in, in my Basa language is samal. Samal means sa has ended creation. Because God in the Bible has ended his creation in the sixth day and in the seventh day God breaths. Samal. So that's what Taylor God created man in the sixth day. And that sixth day represents the, the atomic number of carbon. Carbon means black. Hmm? And carbon is also one of the five elements that constitute human DNA. Carbon is one of the five elements element that constitute human DNA so again carbon is black carbon is melanin again the fact that shows that the first people can were black as scientifically proven and then God can all can all, only be black African and a woman and also in the Bible in the Abrahamic books whether it is Torah, Bible, or Quran, they tell you that Lucifer is the devil. This is another big lie. Lucifer is not the devil. Lucifer is a Latin word that, that comes from a Greek word, phosphorus. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is also a chemical element just like the carbon and phosphorus is also one one of the five elements that constitute human DNA just like the carbon so phosphorus also constitute human DNA and the atomic and the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 one five the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 and phosphorus or Lucifer Phosphorus is composed of two words, phos and oros. Phos means to bring or to carry. And oros is the African Abasa word. The, the Basa Egyptian is the, is the Basa Egyptian word oros that comes from the Basa Ngoglutuba in West Africa. That means moro. Moro. Hello, moro means a star. Moro means a star. A star. And the sun is also a star. Or the Basa in ancient Egypt, Moros is the sun of the of, of the deity of Oros is the son of the god of the sun. Oros is the son of the god of the sun called Ra. Ra. It is Oros that has been forged in the name of jesus in the bible by white people because in ancient egypt our ancestor the basa people used to worship and venerate the god of the sun called ra that is why we in africa we the basa people in Go in gorlituba or wherever and most part in africa we call ancestor tara 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 is composed of two words nta and ra means father and Ra means the deity of the sun the god of the sun Ra so we call ancestor Ntara Ntara we, we also call Ntata we also call Tata hmm? so phosphorus is composed of two words phosphorus which is Lucifer, Lucifer is composed of two, two words phos and oros phos means to carry, to bring and oros means the star sunlight that's why phosphorus means the one who bring light the, the one who bring light it's phosphorus also called the star of the morning the star of the morning because of oros or moro so lucifer it just means the one who bring light 
and Lucifer has nothing to do with the devil. Lucifer is phosphorus, one one of the five elements that constitute human DNA. So when I hear Christian in church say, Lucifer, get out of, get out of this body. Lucifer, leave this body. This is stupidity. This is ignorance. This is Ben Wash. This is white supremacy. Lucifer is not a devil. Lucifer is a part of your human DNA. That's why in 1974, when European archaeologists, because in Ethiopia, because Ethiopia is a country in East Africa and it is also the oldest state, the oldest state on earth. Because Ethiopia was the first one to, to organize as a state before any other country on earth. So in 1974, in 1974 in Ethiopia, Akelok discovered the oldest human skeleton. And that was a skeleton of a woman. They call that skeleton Lucy. Lucy. And Lucy is just the abbreviation of Lucifer. Lucy is just the abbreviation of Lucifer. Because Lucifer is one of the five elements that constitute human DNA. Lucifer is a is a is phosphorus. It is the one that brings light. So Lucifer is our ancestor and that skeleton of Lucifer or Lucy that skeleton, that skeleton of Lucy that was discovered in Ethiopia in 1974 was 3.7 million old 3.7 million old so Lucifer has nothing to do with the devil you have to get out of those brain washing things of white supremacy then in the Bible in the book of Revelation which is which is also called Apocalypse in the Bible they tell you that the number of the devil is 666 that the number of the devil is 666 this is another big lie this is to the this I call it the the diabolization of black people of the melanin because I told you that the car the carbon which means black is one of the five elements that constitute human DNA and precisely pre precisely it is carbon twelve so carbon twelve is the is is an isotope. Now we're talking about chemistry. Carbon-12 is an isotope. And ca the atom, the atom of carbon-12 has six neutron, six proton, and six electrons. Six neutron, six proton, and six electron. That's why they come and tell that And they come and tell that the number of the devil is 666. No, this is the number of the of the isotope of the carbon 12 that that your DNA, DNA is is made of, and carbon represents black. That's what they say. It's the number of the devil. Hmm? That's why they enslaved black people for 400 years. They colonized black people. They colonized Africa for 100 years. They created diseases to exterminate black people. They create diseases such as HIV, AIDS, Ebola, just to eradicate, to erase black people on this earth on top of this slavery 
colonialisé 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 apartheid diseases then you have civil war in africa and genocide that are organized by white people with the participation of stupid idiot and foolish africans just to exterminate black people yet black people still stand strong because god is black black is what may is what your 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 dna is made of whatever your color black is the original color of mankind it is what god a black woman a rock created in the six days And let me tell you before the white people enslave Africans they tried to enslave Indians but Indians could not bear it they were all dying they have to they have to come in Africa to find black people because these are the strongest these are the, the people of God this is the original only black people could stand 400 years of slavery every day on the sun in the winter whip beaten Torture. First of all, they have to survive being caught in Africa. Then they have to survive in the sea because there was they were chained in very bad condition, one on top of the other with one meal a day they have to survive the journey in the Atlantic in the ocean then they also have to survive 400 years of slavery men women and children only black people only black people only black people because this is what black God is about and let me tell you before the white people come to enslave Africans the Arabs started the Arabs started this business they call it the they call it the Orient the Oriental straight slave I like to call it the Mohammedan trade slave because it was it was done by Muslim they took 25 million Africans then came the white slavery, the white man slavery, called the transatlantic trade slave. I like to call it the Christian trade slave because, because it took 200 million African. And, and because it was, it, was, it, was, it was done by Christian, it was done by Christian, and it took 200 million Africans. And before this slavery, the African continent had 800 million people 800 millions was the population of Africa before slavery and you, you are you are on top of that diseases created by white man you have a civil war genocide or organized by white man 
all those kind of things and yet in 2050 and yet in 2050 africa will be the most populated continent on earth i did not even mention the the sterilization the sterilization of black women in israel black people in america being killed every day and whom were injected syphilis syphilis you know all those kind of disease and yet black people still stand because they are god let create god in our own image and likeness say god and the first people was black god can only be black that's why black cannot be eradic eradicated black is what is is what your human dna is made of whether you call yourself white yellow blue you are just a decoloration of black We have just a decoloration. This is not racism. This is fact. This is science. Six hundred and sixty six is not the number of the devil. 666 is the number of carbon 12 which is one of the elements that constitute our human DNA black people are the rock God is a black woman God is a rock. Call Ngongli Tuba. Whatever your religion, whatever language, you call God. Cameroon. Cameroon Ngongli Tuba is in West Africa. And the Republic of South Africa is in Southern Africa. Actually, Cameroon and South Africa are very far, you know, you know, it's closer to me to go to, from Cameroon, it's closer to me to go to France, which is in, which is in Western Europe, they're going to South Africa, which is still in Africa. But if you go to, to the Republic of South Africa, they have a saying, they have a saying in South Africa. If you strike a woman, you strike a rock. You strike a woman, you strike a rock. They themselves know that God is a black woman, God is a rock. Whatever your religion. All religions started in Africa. The first people started in Africa and they migrated. And when people migrate, they migrate with their culture. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I have enlightened you. And I, and I also wish that or hope that you are going to share this video. I will come back next time with more enlightening topic. Don't forget to share if you like the video don't forget to share or to leave your comment below or to subscribe to my youtube channel see you next time ambore sai ambore sai ambore me yonga sai sai mbok